Yoga is more of a spirituality, a spiritual feeling than it is a physical exercise. And as you can take a look also, the stance, like the position, the poses of yoga, all of the positions of yoga signify the positions of the Eastern gods, the pagan gods like Shiva, Krishna, even what I have just spoken to you right now, Kali. For those of you who completely bypassed everything which I have just spoken, let me speak in a much easier illustration so you can pick up. The positions of yoga, the whole concept of yoga itself, it fits perfectly in line with Buddhism. The whole concept of meditation, that is not just in Buddhism alone, but it is also involved with Hinduism. So it's you initiating yourself into Eastern mysticism. And these things end up manifesting themselves and they end up leading people into experiencing astral body projections. And from that point on, it's only a matter of time before you begin to have your own spirit guide. Most people who get deep into yoga eventually have their own gurus, their own spirit guides that lead them into quote-unquote spiritual enlightenment. You see, Hinduism and Buddhism have one thing in common. They both lead you into astral projections, which is to have an outer body experience. And in like manner, those that practice yoga, they are bound one way or another. They are bound to have lucid dreams. If you have ever practiced yoga before and you begin to experience more lucid dreams, that is your first indication to get out. Do not stay and practice it any further. Do not go beyond this point because the more you practice it, the more you are going to be visited now by more dark figures. Now here is the thing. I know many of you do not believe anything that I'm saying. Most of you do not agree with what I'm saying. So here is a simple test. If you experience lucid dreams more and more frequent, I want you to try this. Next time you have a lucid dream, I want you to attempt to even mention the name of Jesus Christ. When you have lucid dream, next time I want you to mention the name of Jesus Christ. And just say there is power in the blood of Jesus. Just simply attempt to say that. Then observe what you begin to experience next. The one thing that is common amongst every single lucid dream is that it always tends to be a dark atmosphere and you are always visited by a dark figure. So we need to be careful. You need to be careful when you are experiencing a lucid dream because that is an indication that you are being visited by someone and by someone I mean a fallen angel and we all know a fallen angel is a demon. In this type of experience you need to pray and call upon the name of Jesus. When you call upon the name of Jesus you may or may not experience a wrestling in your dreams. You may be locked into paralysis or you may just snap out and wake up from that dream. Just call upon the name of Jesus. And this is a very good exercise for those of you who are skeptics. For those of you who do not believe in the name of Jesus Christ. You do not believe there is power in his blood. Just call upon the name of Jesus. Mention it from your heart when you're experiencing any of these things. Then you will personally experience something different. You will see what happens when you mention the name of Jesus Christ. And you know what? I cannot stand in and tell you something that I do not know anything about. This is something that I have already experienced multiple times in my life. I've experienced these dreams. So what is my say on lucid dreaming? Well, my conclusion for every single one of you out there is that do not even entertain yourself with lucid dreaming because they will become more and more frequent. Do not entertain yourself with lucid dreaming. It is dangerous. Do not even attempt to go near it. And if you ever get a lucid dream, make sure you pray and call upon the name of Jesus. Lucid dreams always begin with, oh, it's very nice and cool. You actually feel like you're traveling from one place to another, but every time it always tends to lead you into seeing dark figures. And by dark figures, I mean beings that are always in black. It is always dark and scary. So my best advice for those of you who are seeking to experience lucid dreaming, please do yourselves a favor. Do not even attempt to entertain yourself 
with these things. They are directly linked with sleep paralysis. So in the conclusion of this video, what I'm going to do is advise each and every single one of you strongly. Do not even support these musicians that are promoting all of these nonsense of garbage for you do yourselves a favor keep away from these people have nothing to do with their song as their songs are only feeding you with satanic junk that's all they're doing and when they go to perform live concerts all they are doing is just performing satanic rituals in front of the mass public and as you can see most people are throwing satanic hand signs wearing satanic shirts having tattooed bodies that have satanic symbols and the dragon and skull and crossbones all of those nonsense and yet they have no idea what it is that they are actually welcoming in their lives whether you believe it or not satan exists whether you believe it or not if satan exists then guess who also exists that's right the creator of heaven and earth god there is a god whether you believe it or not you have no say in this matter because there is a god you can say a hundred thousand times that there is no god you can say a hundred thousand times that you do not believe in god but regardless of what you say there is a god and so my friends let me conclude this video with these last words. If you really found this information useful and the content of information is very informative, please give this video a thumbs up and share this information with people who you know. Most importantly, I want you to rate this video if you believe in God and you love God and you would rather worship the creator of heaven and earth rather than to worship these cannibalistic demon figures that people create with their own hands and they worship. Let the thumbs up and the th